Hey, baby, and welcome, guys. Welcome back to CatDogPig.plays Plays the Unstable Mod Pack on the Feed the Beast. So, guys, as you can see, I'm looking hella cool with my sunglasses and the moon behind me, but you may notice behind me some other changes as well. Um, so, I couldn't help myself. I know this is only a temporary kind of server, but I went ahead and made myself a house, and as you can tell, I, I went with the theme of unstable for... Ah! Hello. <laughs> Hold on, I need to get out of F5. I can never walk around this way. Ah, ah, there we go. Back, back in normal first-person view. So I made myself an unstable house. Um, we used some of the uh, living stone or rock from Batania, and we used some of this uh, cobbled limestone. I was actually trying to find the ugliest blocks I could find. So I used dirt for the roof and limestone for the, the like I guess the buttresses these aren't buttresses uh, I don't know the accent blocks or the the support box yeah we'll call them supports and yeah and I actually this isn't the ugliest glass texture but I thought it was nice so I put it in there it, it's weird when I actually try to build an ugly house I like it even better so I think what we need to do is next time we do a large build is we try to make the ugliest thing we can and we'll probably still like it because you know it's hard to fight building something nice so yeah the, the whole point is the house is supposed to look like it's tilting to the to the right here it's an unstable house we're playing the unstable mod pack of course that makes sense and look at these guys instead of bushes I put sponges and I even think that looks all right and this actually looks pretty good too if we go inside this is just a very temporary place to put you know the stuff I find quickly and if we go upstairs here real quick, you'll see I have my bed. And I've got a little chimney hole here. Um, there's one thing I have to show you guys real quick. Um, I, I remember, if you guys remember, XP Crafted was messing around with the Advanced Genetics mod. And he just had a big breakthrough. Check this out. If I hit double jump. So I now have flight. He gave me a syringe. And I took the drugs that were in it, and now I can fly. Um, I also take zero fall damage. Oh, man, look at that awesome effect that happened. Hold on, let's do that again. We take, like, zero fall damage. Now, this only lasts until we die. So, it's not... Oh, <laughs> that's so cool. This only lasts until we die. So, as soon as we die, we're going to have to get XP crafted to g give us more drugs so that we can fly. Um... It, it seems a little cheaty, but I, I do like the... He told me it was a pain in the butt to make this. So it, it I, I didn't make it. He made it. And now we can fly. I believe I can fly. I believe I can touch the sky. So now we're flying around everywhere. We're going to try and not use it too terribly much, mainly when we are building. But yeah, I have a squid in my inventory. That can go away. There we go. Um, we also have some squid plant seeds. I love these things. When you throw these squid plant seeds onto water, check it out. They float, and then they pop. I love that sound they make. That's so cool. So, guys, if you remember last episode, we were messing around with Batania. Um, I went ahead and made another generating flower. We looked at it in the book, but we made the endoflame. And what this endoflame does is it takes combustible items and turns them into mana um let's see if we have like a thing of coal around and i can show it to you real quick i think i was cooking up some charcoal in here one good thing to throw on it is a block of coal so that you know when you when you take nine coal and you put it in a grid you get the block of coal let's see if this will accept it it may still be burning a fuel source that i threw on it earlier but you throw like a charcoal on it and it sucks it up, and you see the little particle effects it's doing, and it shoots the mana into here. And we've actually collected quite a bit of mana. As you can see, it's it's way up there. We went ahead and um, made a few of these mana items. Like if you take a block of steel, and not a block of steel, but if you take uh, an iron ingot, that's what I'm trying to say, and you throw it into the mana pool, you get the little magical effects, and it gives you a terra steel. Or no, what, what is this? This is mana steel. Oh, I thought this was terra steel. Huh, I wonder if that is a different thing. All right, let's look this up real quick. Do, do, do. All right, so this is mana steel. Cool. Um, 
what we are trying to do, why we're, we're creating so much mana steel, is I want to create some of the armor that's in this. So let's look at this. This is mana steel equipment. Okay, yeah, so it is mana steel. I thought it was terra steel, it's mana steel. So look, you can make a mana steel pickaxe. It's very cool. You can make a shovel, of course. We might actually make these because one of their properties is that if you have a mana tablet in your inventory and it has mana stored in it, they they don't decrease their durability. So it could be a really cool item to have. And one thing you can make out of these is armor. So let's get to it and the armor will pretty much not break as long as you have mana in your inventory. Plus, it looks really cool. Look at that, there's the chest plate. We're gonna make ourselves some boots, some really cool boots, and let's make ourselves some pantalones. Um, and we'll just, we'll do the hat just for, oh man, these, the textures on these are great. Wow, they did a really good job. Okay, so now that we have that, let's take off this ratty old iron armor. And let's put on this stuff. Oh my goodness, look at that. We gotta see this in, in third person. <laughs> it looks funny with my sunglasses on. It looks like I have like a blue wig. Hi, hi, Sunny. I, I'm like a blue haired old lady. Hi, Sunny. How you doing, Sunny? Cool. So that's the, that's the Man of Steel armor. So I guess what we wanna do now is create a mana tablet. And a mana tablet stores mana in it, obviously. So um, what we could do is create that, store man in it, and then our armor won't take damage unless that mana is depleted. And we're creating a good amount of mana here. And today we're gonna create some more mana sources, I think. So yeah, why not? Let's do it. Let's see here, mana, if we go back, we wanna make a tablet. Um, there's all kinds of new stuff in this version of the mod pack. I'm so pleased with it. Um, Natural apparatus, maybe? No. What about mana manipulation? Portable mana transport. This is what we want. While using mana spreaders to transport mana around is all good and well, there is also a way of doing it in a different manner. The mana tablet is a portable object which can carry mana unto itself. Tossing one of these on top of a mana pool will allow for the transport of mana between one and another. Shift clicking the mana pool with the wand of the forest will change which way the mana flows. Lastly, unlike normal items, these will never despawn when dropped on the floor. Oh, that's cool. So it looks like we need a mana diamond surrounded by living rock. <laughs> this does not run Android. Okay. Okay, it's also possible to indirectly access the mana reserves of the mana pool through using a mana mirror. The item itself will pull out what will pull out of the pool itself yeah, that's a hard sentence to say to bind a mirror to a pool one would blah 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 boring boring okay so this is a mana mirror we may actually use that at some point but uh we're just gonna make the tablet so let's get to it we've been making lots of this living stone it's good to have a use for it i've actually been using it to build as you can see i've made these little kind of uh areas here this is my petal apothecary and this is just the <coughs> Excuse me. This is just the entrance to my little island of Batania here. So yeah, th these are these are um, living stone brick, and you can make also cracked brick. I, I think they look pretty good. We used just the living stone over there, and it actually looks pretty decent too. Um, what are we doing? Oh yeah, I get so distracted. All right, so we are gonna make this mana tablet and test it out real quick. So we surround like that. And put that there. One mana tablet. Let's see how much mana is actually in this thing. If I throw this on top of here, is it doing its thing? I don't know if it is. Do we shift click? Accepting mana from items. I want to turn that off. What happens if I just break this? I probably need to do it with an axe, right? Because currently, I don't think this mana tablet is accepting. What do I do? Shift click on it? All right, we probably need to read the book again. I thought you just throw it on top and magical doodads happen. So, 
I've got my wand here. Oh, there we go. Now it's doing it. I had to shift right click on it. I think it's definitely doing it now. Yeah, there we go. Sparing mana two items. Oh man, it sucked it all up. Shoot, I didn't want it to... Well, we got it. <laughs> so now what we need to do is probably throw another piece of charcoal on this uh, generating flora over here. There we go. And cool, it's starting to refill the mana again. We probably need to go get ourselves quite a bit more of that charcoal so that we can refill our mana pool because we just destroyed it there. So let's make ourselves some more charcoal there. So yeah, we've got a we've got a cool set of armor now and we've got our mana tablet. Very nice. So this this thing here is now generating more mana. So one of the things I wanted to do was create yet another source, another way of generating mana. And I was thinking of using the water flowers. So let's take a look at those real quick. Um, we want generating flora and hydrangeas. So, okay, we, we've, re we've read this last episode. This is kind of what we want to make here. Um, it's going to require blue petals, pink petals, and two mana petals. And hopefully this is creating enough mana that we can use it. Let's just keep throwing some charcoal down here and hope that we have enough mana. We want some of this. We want these guys, of course. And where's the pink flowers? Um, let's just go ahead and turn all these into petals. Cool. So let's go ahead and make enough for two. I forget which one requires more. We need more light blue petals than we need blue petals. Okay, we're gonna at least make two of these. So let's get enough equipment ready for that. So light blue. Oh, I need light blue petals. Light blue. Is this light blue? Yeah, this is light blue. So let's turn these guys into petals. So we're going to need two mystical petals each. So let's throw this in here. All right, we got that one. That's one set. It's two sets. All right, so we've got enough to do this for sure. So let's get this ready, one, two, like that, and I think we needed one mystical blue here, and then I think it was three of these, right? Is that right? I've already forgotten. Let's take a look. Okay, so one, one, okay. We definitely don't need that many. So one of those, two of those, one of those, and then one pink one. And then we throw in a seed after that. I don't need these ink sacks at the moment. I think I put some seeds over here. Let's grab at least a couple. Let's put some stuff in here because we are running out of room in our inventory. All right, here's some seeds, cool. And if we take a bucket, that would help as well. Bucket, throw it in there. And we then take our petal. We need one of these, two of these, one of these, one of them's. I hate how the petals flicker around in my inventory because I'm trying to do like calculations and it's very difficult. Here we go, the seed should do it. There we go, we've got one hydrangea. So let's make one more and we'll see if we can get this bad boy working. So boop, and what was it again? It flickered around in my inventory, good gravy. Okay, so one light blue one. Okay, two of these, one dark blue one, one light, no, no, one regular blue one, and a pink one, and a seed, and there we go, two hydrangeas. Cool. So we want to set up another mana spreader shooting into this same place, and I think we're going to do it over here. So let's grab some slabs and see if we can set up some sort of reoccurring water source thing. Um, it might be good to get the spreader out first just so we can line things up. So we definitely want this in this direction. We will put the mana spreader there. And that should be good and lined up. So we're going to have ourselves two hydrangea flowers. We're just going to put one there and one there. I think that'll work. And we're going to do this. I 
think this will work. We, I think we could actually get him even closer, but it's going to mess up with mess up our symmetry. So nuts to that. We don't want to mess up symmetry. We want to keep this looking nice, real nice. Boop boop. A couple of these like so. Oh, am I out of uh, slabs? I totally am. Where you at, slabs? There we go. Two right there. And then if we get ourselves some buckets of water, make ourselves some infinite pools of water, these guys should start eating the water, right? So let's give this a try and see if it's functioning or not. Oh, that's not what I wanted at all. Here we go. All right, so now it's got some infinite sources of water. And if I did this correctly, these hydrangeas should start eating this water. Sometimes, I remember I had to break them in the past to get them to work. So let's try this. Okay. Do we see anything happening? Oh, it did it. It totally took the water. It happened really quickly, but it did do it. Okay, the mana spreader does have water in it. Or, not water. It has mana in it. So, I guess they nerfed these a bit. I remember in the TPPI mod pack when I played with these, these guys were constantly devouring this water. So, they must now do it uh, much slower, I think. Yep, it just took it. And there is a bit of a particle effect that happens. Okay. So yeah, this will be another source of mana going into the old mana pool here. And it I think it is actually slower than the Endoflame. But the Endoflame you gotta feed. This is passive. So yeah. We actually probably wanna make one more set of these and put them maybe here? I don't know. Let's see if we have enough stuff to do that. We need to make two more. Let's see if this mana pool is uh, juiced up enough to do it. So two of these. Oh, it's not juiced up enough. Okay. So we've got one at the moment. Um, no need to get greedy, I suppose. <laughs> yeah. So we've got a nice little mana generating area here. Um, I think in the next episode, we're going to get into some more complex flowers. And that is going to require us to... Um, we need to definitely... Maybe it needs to be daytime for this to work better. This just seems to be working fairly slow. Should we read the book real quick? Let's let's take a look in the book. Sometimes this book has lots of good information in it. Okay. While passive mana generation can be easily achieved through day blooms, different means of doing so might come in handy. The hydrangeas will suck up any still water in a 3x3 area around it on the same height created creating mana from it it also functions faster in the rain oh that's good it rains a lot on the server a simple hydrangea system okay and that's it okay my guess is they just nerf these quite a bit which is cool it's passive generation so it, it's not supposed to allow amount to a whole bunch i suppose so yeah it's also nighttime and these day blooms are definitely not creating mana let's take a quick sleep and see if we can maybe make another hydrangea. Ah, I'm stuck. What the heck's going on? All right. Have a nice sleep here. We're going to grab ourselves some coal, too, and throw it on that endo flame. Okay. Down the ladder, please. Thank you. All right. We've got 15 coal here. Can you make coal blocks out of charcoal? I really doubt it, but it's worth a try. Nope. Can't do it. Not allowed. Yeah, feeding coal blocks to that endo flame is a great way to get mana. That's how I got all that mana stuck in there before. Oh, I wonder if I can fill this up by throwing this on top of it. Let's give this a try. Maybe this will be a good way to do it. Oh, it's, um... So if I do this... There we go. Ah, now we're talking. Let's pick this back up. And we should have tons of mana in there now. We can definitely make another one now. So let's do two of these. Okay, and let's do this guy. I think we need two of these as well. And there we go. Okay. So if we get our <laughs> our, our messy inventory ready. 
Um, let's see here. Put that there. Put that there. Uh, it's going to be a mess either way. So let's get. Let's just move on. These little tooltips in the bottom left-hand corner of my screen are currently overlapping my inventory bar, and it's driving me crazy. I need to find a way to uh, turn that off or something, because it is uh, distracting, and it's dumb, and I don't like it. So I, I, I don't like it. All right, here we go. All right, and if I throw in a seed, I think we'll be good, right? Oh, it didn't take. Come on. There we go. Let's fill this up again. We'll make one more, and then we'll call this a day. One, two, and here's the blue one. One blue one, and a pink, and then throw a seed on top of that. Boom! Flowers! <laughs> Here we go. Two more hydrangeas. So this, if we put these here, is this going to ruin our infinite water source? Okay, it's doing it intermittently, so that's good. Yeah, I think it knows to not take the water all at once, but there is a chance that these are going to ruin this infinite water source. So we might need to figure out a way to fix that. I'm not positive. I think these work better during the day. Yeah, I think this, this looks like it's working a lot faster. I think I saw the water go down quite a bit faster. There we go. Yeah. Okay, so cool. That's working. We've got lots of mana in our mana pool. We're actually going to um, just go ahead and start sucking it up because I want to keep a good uh, supply of mana on me so that our armor is constantly juiced and we can just leave this to this passive mana generation to just run all the time. So cool. Well, guys, uh, we're going to wrap it up right there. As always, look at my stupid... This, this helmet is pretty funny. Especially, it looks like I got a hairnet on. Like, hey baby, you want some mashed potatoes? So guys, as always, I want to thank each and every one of you for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, give it a big old thumbs up. And if you want to subscribe or any of that stuff, do that too. And until next time, guys, we'll see you all real soon. Bye. Goodbye now. Bye.